Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync KW command for Rainmakers and Teams specifically to Realtor.com. So as soon as any of those Realtor.com leads come in, they can get synced right into your KW command. You can use the lead routing tool in KW command to drop that to the agent you want, or you can manually set it up so that it goes to whichever agent you choose. It's super easy to set this up. Let me show you how. The first thing you're gonna do is hop into command and we're gonna go find the sync here in the KW marketplace. So if you look, there's this little logo. It looks like a little shop. Click on that. That'll take you to the KW marketplace. Once you're here, you're just gonna search for, you can search for realtor.com. And just by searching realtor.com, that should bring up the sync for realtor.com and KW command. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're getting the Rainmaker and Teams version. That way you can set this up so that it syncs the realtor.com leads using your Rainmaker account in KW command so that you can sort them, drop them, use that lead routing in KW command. So you can save a bunch of time. You don't have to go grab those, import them into KW command and manually assign them. You can just use this automation tool. Once you're here, you're gonna click this button up here. It's probably gonna say buy app if you haven't purchased it yet. Once you go through the process of purchasing the app, it'll now be in the my apps area. It'll look like this, a little tile in the my apps area. You can see there's a bunch of different syncs we have here. And now that you purchased it, you're now ready to set it up. So just to be clear, just purchasing it here in the marketplace doesn't set it up for you. It's not active yet. You gotta go into the my apps area, find the tile, click through and set it up. So you're gonna click through to activate the sync. So the first step is gonna show you all the syncs available between these two apps. It looks like we have realtor.com contacts to KW command contacts. Check the box and tell it that's the one, let's set it up. Next is gonna ask you which KW command account you want to set up. You're gonna go with that team account. It'll have a little team flag here and hit select. And now you're gonna connect your realtor.com account. So you'll click the connect button. It's gonna ask you to label this connection and you can name this after you yourself. You can name it after your team. It doesn't really matter. It's just if you're connecting multiple realtor.com accounts to a single API Nation account, then you're gonna to wanna to know which is which. I'm gonna just call this my team. That's fine, hit create connection. And then it's gonna give me an API key. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the realtor.com website with the top right and click on the drop down there and click on settings. And on the left hand side, I'm gonna click on lead settings. And what we need doesn't always show up immediately. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page. I've noticed this happens a few times and then click on lead settings again, give it a second. There it is, that's what I need, add lead delivery API. So I'm gonna click on that and we're gonna select for our API source application, other application. And then we need an API URL. So I'm gonna go back to that page on API Nation. I'm gonna click on the instructions and I'm gonna scroll on down here and you can use these instructions to do all of this connection if you'd like. Uh, but all we really need is this URL. So I'm gonna grab that, go back to realtor.com and paste that URL in there. Now we need the API key. So we're gonna go back to API Nation, grab that API key, and then API key works as the API key and the login name. Finally, we're gonna hit test connection. We get the little green check mark. Awesome. Don't forget to save. Come on down here, save in the bottom right. And now you can see we're all set. We're gonna test connection on API Nation. We see success, we hit finish. All right, this connection is now there, so you just go ahead and select it. And there we go. So we're almost there. We're just gonna confirm the creation of the workflow or the integration. And now it's gonna be here in our My Syncs area. And we're gonna go through and do some things before we activate it. So first we're gonna double check some things. We're sending it from the realtor.com to KW command. This is where the big difference is as far as using the Rainmaker account for this sync. So you can now send the leads that are coming from realtor.com into the lead routing you've set up in KW command. That way it goes to the agents you want using the rules you've already set up inside KW command. So you just check this box, make sure you specify a source. That way the lead routing is accurate once it goes into KW command. You can just search for it, realtor.com, there we go. And then you can decide if you wanna overwrite the information in KW command um, with this information from realtor.com or tell it, you know what, if the person already exists in KW command, don't overwrite it with the realtor.com stuff. Totally up to you. If you choose not to use the lead routing in KW command, just uncheck that box. And then you can 
decide here exactly what's gonna happen. So do you wanna mark it as a lead or do you wanna treat these people as contacts as they're added into KW Command? And you can also choose if you just wanna choose one single agent and send everybody from this realtor.com account to a single agent, you could do that here as well. You can also specify the source and then again, override information or not. Come down here to filter. If you want to filter exactly who's coming over using this sync, you can do that. You can see all the different fields you can filter on. And the only reason you might do this with a realtor.com sync, you know, most people are just trying to get the leads from realtor.com into KW Command, all of them into KW Command as soon as possible so you can follow up, improve your speed to lead and create more deals. But you might want to filter so that you can but you might wanna filter so that you can tag them with different things, depending on where they're coming from in realtor.com. So for example, if you wanted to tag people who were looking at a particular zip code or a particular city, you could do that. You could say, okay, only if the property is in San Mateo, and then you can come down to mapping, find the tags area and say San Mateo. So you could do that. Most people, like I said, They'll go ahead and go no filter. Then they'll just sync everybody into KW command and handle them in there. So the last thing we're gonna look at is mapping. So you can see there's a ton of stuff available from realtor.com to sync into KW command if you want it. By default, we're doing email, first name, last name, phone. If there's anything else, if you come on down here to description, maybe there's something else you want. I'm gonna delete this tag, I don't need that right now. But if there's anything else from the lead you wanna put in the description, you can, for example, Let's go in here and you can see all the different stuff. Ooh, the message, let's put the message in there. So I'll put, I'll type in message and then I'll put the message in there. And then let's see what else we wanna add here. Maybe I wanna put in price, the price they're looking at. That could be helpful also. Kinda of gives me a gauge on what else I should send them as I follow up. So yeah, ton of different fields from realtor.com that you can import into KW Command to help your follow-up, allow you to be more relevant and allow you to convert more of these deals. I'll hit activate sync. And that's it, the sync is now up and running. So that's it, that's how you connect KW Command as a rainmaker, as a team to realtor.com. So you can get all those leads from realtor.com into your KW command and tell it to route it to your agents using the lead routing or manually decide exactly who it's gonna go into in the sync. It's gonna allow you to improve your whole team's speed to lead so that you guys can all create more deals. If you need any assistance setting this up for you or your team, go to apination.com slash KW. There you can call us, send us an email and even set up a live session of support. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.